Hi guys, this is going to be for my Geminis. I will be, and this is going to be from the 1st to the 7th of January. I know I'm a little late and I do apologize. However, I'll be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using learning tarot cards with keywords. So Gemini, let's see. What messages we have for you for this week? Ooh, a whole bunch. <laughs> Excuse me. So Gemini, this is going to be for you. Two of Swords. You feel alone because someone told you a lie. That's past energy. And it was someone that you were very in love with. Or you both were in love with each other. At that time, you felt very magical. That anything was a possibility. However... Current energy, you're using your intuition and there are some things you don't need to know. You are in your head about the past, could be the situation here. The Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups. However, there is abundance around you and darling, you have the gift of sight, the gift of sight. You know and see and feel things. I do see um, this could be some kind of commitment. This could be a marriage or this could be a job, but I want to say possible marriage, maybe coming or, or just came. And that marriage will be filled with love. I wish I could leave the reading right here. So, but you know we can't. So we got to clarify some things. Oh, it would be wonderful if it's this smoother. Two of swords. Let's see. What was this lie about? What made you feel alone? Oh. Maybe the universe don't want to answer. Let's try again. What made you feel alone? What made you feel alone? What made you feel alone, Gemini? Page of Wands came up. It was something that was very, very enthusiastic about. You got good news. You're optimistic. Or it could be describing the energy of that person. It's a very energetic, younger person. Possible fire sign. You were longing to travel. You had dreams of going to a foreign land. And you had a lot of self-confidence. And the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you felt it was karmic and it was so good. I mean, it was a good feeling. It was a really good feeling. 
But something with that good feeling lied, right? And that love made you feel a little, a little off balance. Things were up and down for you for a while. But you're very flexible. You remember, you're a Gemini. And you felt trapped for a while. The Eight of Swords. You felt like you were backed into a corner and you didn't have nothing else to do but what you had to do. And that's quite okay. And I got the Six of Pentacles. And it's giving and receiving. So maybe you were giving out some money to receive something back. However, Gemini, this is past energy, okay? And then there's the magician. <clears throat> oh, this magical moment. It kept you up at night. Nine of Swords. Anxiety, fear, unhappiness, stress, it overwhelmed you totally. However, the judgment card came and you evaluated yourself and you started waking up and realizing certain things. Ah. But yet, that person or energy is a very romantic energy. They're going to come with offers, okay? Or they did come with offers. Let's see if it's going to come, if it's happening still. The High Priestess, use your intuition, darling. Feel that feeling. I got goosebumps right now. Feel that feeling. Feel it. The High Priestess. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. Did they promise you marriage? <laughs> the possibility? Some kind of commitment? But you started waking up and realizing your knowledge. And you started to realize that you needed to be very patient with yourself in order to restore your balance and your peace. And there's nothing wrong with that to take care of self first. And darling, the death card. Nothing bad. It just means transformation. You're shedding the old for the new. A little painful because you're still up in your mind here, you know. But you got you handling it, you balanced the seven of cups. You wish it worked out, you had wished it had worked out. <coughs> I got the king of pentacles here. Now, this could be a Virgo. This could be an Earth energy. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. They're very mature. They're grounded. They're successful. They're wealthy. It's a masculine energy. And they're not a risk taker. Or it could be you, Gemini, starting to better yourself. It could be spiritually which would be healing. Don't be scared of healing. Once you do that, you shall be victorious. You have a few regrets. The Four of Cups, a few regrets. But it's fine. You're going to meditate. You're going to go within and you're going to find yourself.
You're going to find yourself. The Ten of Cups. Abundance. Abundance. Let's see. The King of Cups. Mm, water energy. Hmm. A very emotionally intelligent energy. Is that you? <laughs> or is this someone coming towards you? Or did you just meet them? That'll be a Pisces. Oh my goodness, it might be a Virgo. It might be a Pisces. Oh, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Uh, Gemini, I would say stay away from a Scorpio. Oh. Uh, but that's just my feeling. It might work for others, you know. And then um, there is the Three of Pentacles. The universe is building something for you. So don't you give up. And you are getting over or you are currently experiencing betrayal, heartbreak, loneliness, you know. And it could be all what has happened. Maybe, you know, you're still carrying the remnants of, of that with you. Because I don't see anything here that will... I can't see the collaboration of anything breaking your heart. I just feel that you might be healing. You might be a little unhappy, have some sorrow. But let's see what the Princess of Cups says. The Emperor, you shall be stable. Oh, my back. The Emperor. I am my own authority. I have the will and the power to create my life's structure. The card says that. And remember, you know things, that feeling you're getting, that little like, like contracting sometimes you get. <coughs> got the queen of cups here this could be an energy around you it could be a pisces um a scorpio or a um cancer um but they're very very loving it's a feminine kind of energy um they're very sincere loving kind nurturing all the good qualities or that could be you um coming up one thing you need to remember, Gemini, is that you are resilient. No matter what happens in life, you are going to stand back up, okay? I don't want you to stay too far down there. Those are dark negative thoughts and feelings and vibrations, and that's what you will attract. So remember you are resilient. I got the nine of wands here. You got your defenses up a little bit, and that's fine, you know? Because you don't know. I mean, sometimes, you know, like a broken heart or something can make you put up your defenses and you're a little skeptical about love again, you know. But I do see the Hierophant here. And let's see what the Hierophant is talking about. A new beginning. It's time to embark on a brand new beginning, Gemini. Come on now. And it might be with someone from the past. Oh, I got goosebumps. Reunion. You're going to remember the innocence of it. And it might be with an air sign. Masculine. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or another Gemini. Or it could be just you thinking, well, rational, you you know, you've, you've straightened out your mind and you're becoming rational and um, you're kind of unemotional right now.
because Gemini, you have the gift, I think we all do, of um, being very feminine in the sense of being very crying and very emotional and all that. And then at the same time, you can be very like, you know, I don't give up. You know what I mean? So the Nine of Cups, yes, the love ended painfully. Or is this love going to end painfully? Hmm. Endings. Defeat. Walking away. Leaving. Moving on. So this could be you. The, the King of Swords. I will say it's you, Gemini, as well. Because we are speaking about you. Um... I think you have faced and you will face your hurt and you are going to move on. You're going to leave that behind. Things have come full circle for you. It's the end of a cycle. The beginning of something new for you. Okay? I love you. I thank you for your patience and I'll see you soon. Bye.